Solve the system of equations. Where x, y and z, are real numbers. There are three variables and just two equations. How to solve this system of equations? At a first glance, solving this system of equations seems not easy. However, clearly x equals y equals z, equals zero, satisfies the second equation, but does not satisfy the first equation. So x, y and z, cannot be all equal to zero. How about one of x, y and z, equals zero? If x equals zero, then from equation two, we know that, y squared z squared equals zero. So either y equals zero, or z equals zero. Similarly, if y equals zero, then from equation two, we know that, z squared x squared equals zero. So either z equals zero, or x equals zero. Next we divide the problem into different cases. Case 1, x equals 0, and y equals 0. Case 2, z equals 0, and x equals 0. Case 3, y equals 0, and z equals 0. If x equals 0, and y equals 0, then equation 1 becomes, 3z squared equals 1. So z equals, plus or minus root 3 over 3. So x y z, equals 0 0, plus or minus root 3 over 3. If z equals 0, and x equals 0. Then equation 1 becomes, 3 y squared equals 1. So y equals, plus or minus root 3 over 3. So x y z, equals 0, plus or minus root 3 over 3, 0. If y equals 0, and z equals 0. Then equation 1 becomes, 3x squared equals 1. So x equals, plus or minus root 3 over 3. So x y z, equals plus or minus root 3 over 3, 0 0. Case 4, none of x y z, equals 0. We know that, for all real numbers, a b and c, a minus b all squared, plus b minus c all squared, plus c minus a all squared, is always greater than or equal to 0. With equality if and only if, a equals b, equals c. When we expand the left hand side of the inequality, we have an equivalent form, a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared, is always greater than or equal to, a b, plus b c, plus c a, with equality if and only if, a equals b, equals c. From equation 1, we have, 1 equals 3 times, x squared, plus y squared, plus z squared. Which can be written as, x squared, plus y squared, plus z squared, plus 2 times, x squared, plus y squared, plus z squared. By applying this inequality, we know that, x squared, plus y squared, plus z squared, is greater than or equal to, xy, plus yz, plus zx. x squared, plus y squared, plus z squared, plus 2 times, xy, plus yz, plus zx, is just equal to, x plus y plus z all squared. Divide both sides of equation 2, by xyz, times x plus y plus z, we have, x plus y plus z all squared, equals x squared y squared, plus y squared z squared, plus z squared x squared, over xyz, times x plus y plus z. Clearly the numerator is greater than zero. How about the denominator? Divide both sides of equation 2, by x plus y plus z all squared, we have, x y z, times x plus y plus z, equals x squared y squared, plus y squared z squared, plus z squared x squared, over x plus y plus z all squared. We can see that, both the numerator and the denominator are greater than zero. So x y z, times x plus y plus z, must be greater than zero. So both the numerator and the denominator are positive numbers. Again from this inequality, we know that, x squared y squared, plus y squared z squared, plus z squared x squared, is greater than or equal to, x y squared z, plus y z squared x, plus x squared y z. So we can now write, is greater than or equal to, 
x y squared z plus y z squared x plus x squared y z over x y z times x plus y plus z. Terms in the numerator have a common factor x y z, so they can be factorized and written as x y z times x plus y plus z, which is exactly the same as the denominator. So the fraction is one. This implies that all the inequalities in the above expression must be equalities. Therefore, we have x equals y equals z. Substitute y equals z equals x in equation one. We have nine x squared equals one. So x equals plus or minus a third. Therefore, x equals y equals z equals plus or minus a third. It is easy to verify that, including the previously obtained six sets of solutions. In total, there are eight sets of solutions.